Je dirais du buveur l'épopée L'œil toujours clos si le vin n'est cuvé Oh hey, it's you Come on in, I have something really cool I want to show you. It's downstairs, this way. I'm Catherine Marsh, and in the summer of 2015, I moved with my entire family, and I mean everyone. My husband, my two kids, my 80-something-year-old mother, the cat. Not the chickens. Okay, not the chickens. We had to leave them behind in Washington, D.C. because of livestock laws, but pretty much everyone else moved to Brussels, Belgium with me. And we ended up renting this amazing old house built in 1906. It's the coolest thing of all was behind this little door in the basement. You may have to duck. We are going down to the sub-basement. This is the actual wine cellar that inspired Nowhere Boy. I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I started to wonder what would it be like for a kid to hide out here, especially after I heard the true story of another boy who hid out on this very block. His name was Ralph Mayer. He was a Jewish teenager, a refugee from Nazi Germany. In 1942, a Belgian lawyer named Albert Genard and his family hid Ralph here in their house, just a few doors down from our own. A neighbor betrayed them, and one June morning in 1943, the Gestapo pounded on their door. Ralph, who was in an upstairs bedroom, ran out of the window and over the roofs. As you can see, it's possible, though I won't demonstrate, because I'm afraid of heights. In fact, Shishu will demonstrate for you. Nowhere Boy isn't just about Ralph. It's also about two other boys, a Syrian refugee named Ahmed and an American expat named Max. Max's parents send him to the local French school, Ecole de Bonheur, or the School of Happiness. It's a pretty unhappy experience, though, for Max, especially in the beginning when he doesn't speak much French. I should know. I sent my children to the real Ecole de Bonheur. During the Brussels terror attacks, I ran over to the school to pick up my kids. I ended up talking about that experience on the Today Show. But this wasn't the only major news event that made its way into the book. The summer of 2015, when we moved to Brussels, was the height of the refugee crisis. The majority of refugees were escaping war and conflict in Syria, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Many of them found themselves camping out here in Park Maximilian. In the beginning of Nowhere Boy, Ahmed also finds himself here. The last place I'd like to share with you is our garden. The garden plays a really special role in Nowhere Boy. One night, Ahmed finds himself here, and he's in trouble. Ahmed is an unaccompanied minor, meaning he's a child who's traveled the refugee route alone, without his parents. Ahmed tries this door, but you'll have to read Nowhere Boy to find out what happens next. This is not what happens next. Hi, Ellie. But we had to work our Belgian chickens into this somehow. Oh, wow. Comme une huître et d'éviter la marmite